The city of Spybrooken in the Tsar is pounded by United States 7th Army weapons, including rocket-firing tanks. of the 3rd Division penetrate the ruins of Zweibrücken. Army vehicles roll through, headed for new victories on the road to Berlin. Major General John O'Daniel, 3rd Division commander, arrives with his advance units. The industrial city of Saarbrücken, largest in the Saar Basin, is taken by men of the 7th Division of the 7th Army. Flashing out through the Siegfried Line, the 7th Army struck north for a juncture with the 3rd Army and the complete destruction of German forces in the Saar. In this building in 1935, the result of the Saar plebiscite, bringing the Saar under German control, was announced by Adolf Hitler. Army pontoon bridges near Remagen, scene of the dramatic first crossing of the Rhine, carry increasing loads of troops, trucks, and tanks. From their bridgehead east of the mighty river, Allied armies have now slashed into the heart of Germany. Ten miles north, the 9th Division of the 1st Army enters Bad Godesburg, decked in white flags of surrender. Here, Hitler and Chamberlain met in 1938, preceding the Munich Pact. Now, German civilians take orders from the Allied military government. All weapons must be turned in. At Bonn, on the Rhine, just north of Gothenburg, the 1st Army's 1st Division drives to the wreckage of the bridge. Now they have advanced far beyond. Bonn becomes just one more objective taken, just one more collecting point for thousands of beaten soldiers of the Reich, now prisoners of the Allies.